Welcome to another Community Conversation. I'm your host, Ian Parkinson, and I'm pleased to have with me today Selena Simmons from the Medicine Hat Family Service. Welcome, Selena. Good morning. How long has the Family Service been around? Oh my gosh, so Medicine Hat Family Service has been around for more than 60 years in our community. It actually started as a program of the City of Medicine Hat and uh, was brought to, to fruition to ensure that everyone would have access to uh, mental health supports at a low cost. Okay, what do you offer? Well, Medicine Hat Family Service has grown quite a bit in the last few years. Uh, but our main service is that we provide counseling on a sliding scale. What that means is that you can access a very, very qualified counselor uh, for as low as $8 an hour if, if needed. And the other thing that we don't tell everyone, but if you can't afford the $8, we will absolutely subsidize you fully. So this is income based? Income based. Now you just offer counseling? We offer counseling, we offer support groups, we have groups for kids facing divorce, we have groups for uh, grief and loss, uh, especially for children. We know in the last few years, children in our community have faced several losses. And so yes. uh, we started a group for both younger children and for teens. So we partner with the B Youth Center and Redcliffe Youth Center to do those. Uh, we also have groups for marriage uh, counseling uh, and, and then we have one-on-one -on -one counseling as well. Is there anything for seniors that maybe you've lost a partner? Absolutely, we have a group that runs right out of the Viner Center. And so uh, it's called Dills, which is a program where, where we do life learn, lifelong learning. And we work with seniors one-on-one -on -one as well, right at the Viner Center so that you have an op opportunity to uh, connect at the place that you're already comfortable with a counselor. All right, so your services are, your, your prices are basic, based on income. Yes, uh, we offer all the groups for free. We get okay. sponsorship from outside organizations to do that. The one-to-one -one counseling we offer on a sliding scale. Okay, so if somebody has questions or is curious or thinks they need counseling, how do they get a hold of you? So our phone number is 403-504-8026 and they can call anytime. There's no need for a referral. There's no need uh, to get your doctor to call you, call us. You just call us directly. Let us know that you'd like to see a counselor. What I recommend is you go on our website first and just take a look at the different counselors that we offer. Um, and so you can choose which counselor you'd like to see, which counselor you think might fit. Uh, we offer options on whether you'd like to see a male counselor or a female counselor. Uh, just just basically whatever it is that you uh, feel comfortable with. So just basically use a search engine, Medicine Hat Family Service. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we're right there. Okay. When, uh, th this is probably a question most people ask before they walk in your door, but how do they know if they need counseling? I think counseling can be helpful any time that you're facing something that you that you don't know how to work out for yourself. Okay. And so, uh, you know, I, I myself have been to counseling several times. I know all of our counselors have been to counseling. Uh, I think I think it can benefit anyone. I think especially if you've gone through any type of loss, having a third party that's maybe outside of the direct situation that you're in can really help just to kind of give you some tools and tricks and ideas on, on how to walk through that, that crisis that you're facing. If you don't know, ask. 100%. So where does your funding come from? So um, our organization is a not-for-profit. Um, that's what, how we're able to do the low-cost counseling. Um, so we're funded through the Counseling Alberta contract, which is through the government of Alberta. Uh, that's part of our counseling um, money that comes in. We're also funded through FCSS. Uh, the United Way also funds our Kids in the Middle program, which is for young ones who are facing divorce in their family, where they can come to a group and be with kids who are also facing the same thing. Um, and then we also uh, have private donors that support us uh, and help us out. And we've done some fundraisers as well in community. That's really not our specialty, but we're working on it. Yeah, any non-for-profit is always fundraising. Yes. We were talking earlier, um, there's a new process your counsellors are now using called EMDR. Who paid for that? 
Well, we were so lucky. We got a grant through the Community Foundation of Southeastern Alberta, uh, and they paid for all of our counselors to go to the training. And the great thing about this therapy is that it really works well for people who have had trauma, whether childhood trauma, grief and loss, uh, phobias and fears, all kinds of ways that we can unblock the brain with this EMDR therapy. Um, and so we are really excited to be able to offer this therapy as low as $8 an hour for folks. An EMDR is? Eye movement, reprocessing, and desensitization. Essentially, our brain goes through a process when we, when we experience something that we're scared of or something that we're fearful of or something that you know happens that's a bit scary, uh, some kind of a trauma. Our brain goes through a normal process. Sometimes our brain can't make sense of, that, of whatever's happened because there's something about it that doesn't make sense. Okay. What EMDR does is it allows you to go through with the counselor that same process that your brain would go through, but it forces it a little bit to help your brain process that event. So it can be very helpful for PTSD. It's very, very helpful for things like phobias. So I myself am afraid of spiders, so I plan to get it done so that I don't have to be afraid of spiders anymore. Um, We've seen some great and amazing outcomes with this therapy. And so we're really excited to be offering it in a way that allows everyone to access it. So it's available in other counseling offices, but for a much higher cost. So this would be for folks who maybe can't afford that cost. Well done. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, I think just to know that um, we're, we're ever moving in our organization and so we are kind of open to new processes new things uh, we are we are running a bunch of groups now that we weren't running before so we're running groups for infertility and pregnancy loss uh, which I think is very much needed in our community and has been needed in our community. I, I myself have been through infertility and it can be a hard thing to get through all by yourself, but having people around you who know what you're going through can make all the difference. So we've started that group. Uh, we have a group for, for marriage. So if you're, if you're struggling with your marriage, you're struggling with communication, struggling with, you know, how do I get along with my partner? How do we get through these little things, these little bumps that come along in our, in our relationship? We have a group for that as well, where you can meet with other couples who are going through the same same kinds of things. And our counselors, our trained counselors are there to kind of walk you through it. Uh, grief and loss, again, we know our community has suffered a lot of grief and loss in the last little while. Yeah. And so, you know, we're available to speak with people one-on-one -on -one or to, if, if you'd like to start a group, we'll, we're also open to that. We have young people um, coming to groups at the BU Center and at Redcliffe uh, to, to talk about grief and loss, to talk about issues facing young people in our community. Uh, we also have groups for for young people who are whose parents are going through a divorce so that's called kids in the middle uh, we're also working on a program called courage to change so courage to change is for for men specifically uh, it's a program um, if you've been involved in a domestic violence situation this is for men who have been the perpetrator of that violence mm -hmm. and so this allows them to go through and and realize that that's a behavior not who they are and so they can change that behavior uh, through this group you're a busy gal. Yeah, we're busy. <laughs> well, thank you for your work in the community. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching.